Greetings! Welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today what I'm here to show you is how I do my organization process for when I'm starting junk journals. Uh, this is really geared towards beginners or people who are looking to get more um, organized in their process and I'm just sharing my way because maybe you'll be able to uh, glean some ideas from me. So the first thing I do is um, I collect all of my base pages and well actually the first thing I do is determine a cover and in this particular case I'm going to use this file folder as the cover um, so it would either be this or a hard cover so this will be the cover the next thing I do is determine all of my base pages um, of course as you can see these are all coffee dyed already um, the ones that aren't I'm still using them what I mean by base pages is these are like what's can to me considered an actual page in your journal so um, I collect all of these the next thing I do is make a secondary pile of papers these papers are going to be like um, fillers journal spots uh, things like that half pages um, so this would be like a, a little half page um, if you're gonna put an envelope in the book I add that here little cards and things like that um, other like pockets things that might be tuck spots music paper index cards um, these are all pieces that are going to be used as um, enhancements to the base pages um, and then again here items that I have to fussy cut uh, these will be um, a secondary pile of papers so so far we've got two separate piles of paper the next pile that I like to have ready is what I like to call an embellishment pile um, in this pile um, there will be a lot of things that I might use at various points. I just like to pick out things from my stash that coordinate with what I'm working on. That way I have it at the ready um, when I want to reach for something to embellish in my book. So there's things like uh, ribbons, cheesecloth, sewing pattern paper, fabrics, stickers, uh, in this case yarn laces, seam binding, trinkets, and uh, yeah. So this is gonna be the third pile of stuff um, that I have ready. So at this point, we're ready to start assembling uh, the base pages and any of the half pages that you wanna add into the book. Um, and then um, other things that you have will be kind of at the ready. I feel like they're already at your disposal, like your stamps, washi tape, paper clips, um, stapler, things like that are already gonna be on hand. So, I mean, they're all in reaching distance, so I don't need to make a pile for those. These are the three basic piles that I reach from. So I'm gonna go ahead and put together the base pages and I'll be right back. So when I'm ready to put together my base pages, before I cut anything down, um, I like to divide my pages up by um, digital kits and then uh, plain paper. So we got plain paper. Uh, I'll put, I'll consider this uh, an extra because I do this a certain way and you'll see why. And then um, like cardstock and other Specialty papers go in their own pile as well. This goes in the second pile. Okay, so now I have all my papers from my first pile divided up right here in front of me. And what I like to do is um, count how many of each of these pages I have. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. So here I've got 21 base pages. Um, I think for my signature or for my book, I'm only going to do one signature. So that's obviously way too many paper papers for one signature. So now what I'm going to do is put together um, some of these in a fashion where they're all 
dispersed evenly in the journal and then uh, come back and see how many pages that I've decided to go with. Okay, so what I've done here is combine these pages, the base pages, to make a signature. Um, it's a 14 page signature, which I know is already, it's going to be fat, so that's going to be okay. Um, but we've got our base pages together. So the next thing that we want to do is move over to the pile, the second pile that you have of paper and pull out any of the half pages and things like that that you might want to add envelopes um, any of those like little pieces that you want to add into the book um, now we're going to sift some of those out and add them into the sig signatures um, you know evenly all right so i went ahead and i've added in some of those pieces that i wanted to add in like the envelope um, I didn't do a lot because I don't want this thing to get so full and I'm not even done embellishing yet, but I really want to use all these papers that I have. Um, the next thing that I do is I just flip through and any of the pages, um, if it looks like they don't look good how you have them um, folded in right now, like I'll just go in and maybe like flip some around the other way, um, get it to however it makes makes your eyes happy. So um, this is what I have. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is cut the pages down. So this is the point at which I decide the length and the width of what my book is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I cut my pages down. Um, they're all even now. Everything is down to the size that I want it. I have a couple of pieces of um, cutoffs. I like to save these to use for like banners, pockets, belly bands, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add these into the um, second pile, our cutoffs and inserts pile. And um, the next thing that I will do is cut my cover down to match the signatures. So. I'm gonna go do that and I'll be right back. All right, so cover is cut down to size. Um, yeah, so that's it. I have some cutoffs from the manila folder. I saved these also because you can make tags out of them. So I saved those, add them into the secondary pile. Um, and then from here, what I'm going to do is, this part, I guess, where it's where we might branch off because everyone has their own preference. Um, some people like to embellish all of their pages and then sew them into the signature or to the uh, book. Um, and then some like to do their cover and then sew their signatures into the book. Um, that's what I like to do. I like to cover, sew, and then decorate. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and start working on, figuring out what I, what I want to do with the cover. And um, once I'm done with the cover, then my signatures are, are all ready to go. Um, I can just sew them right in, embellish, and then I'm done. Uh, so that's it. Um, I don't know if anybody wants to see the rest. I guess it's kind of self-explanatory. But that the purpose of this was just to show how quick and easy it is to get yourself organized. So once I get my signatures in, I have my two piles here. My secondary pile with lit filler stuff, and then my third pile that has all my embellishments and stuff. So um, from here, I'm just gonna be reaching and putting this all together. Um, so that's basically how I do it. I, I guess if you have any questions or wanna see anything else, just leave a comment below and let me know. But this is the gist of it. Um, I hope it helps you uh, feel a little bit better about having your space organized while you're working because I don't know about you, but I get major anxiety when things are just like everywhere. So I like to know where my stuff is, reach for it, and uh, stick it in the book. <laughs> 
All right, so um, I guess that's it for now, and uh, thank you all for watching. Until next time, toodaloo.